Hi there, my name is Chip Cunliffe and I'm the Sustainable Development Director here at AXA Excel. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more today about ocean literacy and the AXA Ocean Education Programme. As you're, I'm sure, well aware, the ocean is really the defining uh, feature of our planet. It provides food and livelihoods for many millions of people around the world. It drives our weather patterns uh, and indeed it allows us to, every second breath uh, comes from there as well. Um, and so we are inextricably linked to the health of, of our planet ocean. In that sense, I think it's interesting that uh, we rarely see formal curricula integrate the ocean um, more specifically. Uh, we tend to, as an ex-teacher, uh, utilise terrestrial examples in many subjects, especially in science and in geography. And so I think that um, the importance of driving the ocean into the curriculum is hugely important uh, for more sustainable decisions that we make further down the line. Having said that, we at AXA have been working in the ocean space for over 25 years, mainly on ocean science research. And indeed, uh, since 2009, more specifically, we've undertaken various expeditions between 2009 and 2011, on the Arctic Ocean to determine the thickness of sea ice, but also focusing on ocean acidification and the destabilization of ocean currents because of sea ice melt. Between 2012 and 2016, we undertook a series of expeditions called the XL Catlin Sea View Survey, really focusing on the health of coral reefs around the world, the importance of them, and utilizing new technologies to engage a much wider audience and indeed, over 50 scientific papers have so far been published uh, around that series of expeditions. And then in 2016, we teamed up with Necton to undertake this, a, an expedition around Bermuda, uh, focused on uh, the deeper uh, parts of the ocean. And indeed, out of that, we found 100 new species and were able to confirm uh, a new zone in the ocean called the Rarophotic Zone. So, we have a, a, an intimate understanding of, uh, of our ocean through those series of expeditions. And indeed, it's those expeditions that help us provide the platforms for our ocean education programme. We've produced 500 and counting resources, activities for children uh, and lesson plans for teachers. And I think it's really important that we engage with the teachers to help uh, engage as wide a um, uh, number of children as possible to understand uh, the our ocean planet. Indeed, another part of what we do is to produce many live lessons, engaging from the classroom into the Arctic uh, in Svalbard, normally in the Northern Hemisphere's uh, spring, um, and then also uh, in the Northern Hemisphere's uh, autumn in November around Curacao, uh, where we focus on uh, coral reefs. But again, we've, we've uh, branched out and worked with Necton as well on a deep ocean uh, submarine STEM program as well. All of these programs are translated into different languages. So we have six translations we have uh, in French and German, Italian and Spanish, uh, Bahasa, Indonesian. And it's really a case for us about helping to deliver uh, to as many people as possible the importance and in fact the amazing nature of, of the ocean and our ocean planet itself. We've so far reached 8 million children around the world in 96 different countries and, and we of course want to drive that uh, further uh, as well and only for the fact that we know that ocean literacy is hugely important um, as we start to see uh, those individuals and those children move um, up into hopefully into to careers within the science community um, but also uh, as they head towards positions of responsibility in companies and indeed in the corridors of power as well. So really excited and really keen uh, to uh, deliver more in this space and very keen to uh, work with you further as well. Thank you.